Barack Obama is out basically trashing nationalism, saying that it's going to lead to another world war. Well, actually, that's what the election of Hillary Clinton would have led to. Thankfully, we've averted that. But again, failing to grasp the very fact why Donald Trump won, because he dared to say he wanted to put America first. And if they continue to not grasp that fact as to why they're continually losing, then all the better for us. Let's get into a few final news stories here. Now, let's get into this poll that came out. This is in the article, which is up on InfoWars. Desperate establishment media says everything apart from itself is fake. And of course, this is in relation to Google and Facebook cracking down on fake news, which if they really cracked down on fake news, regular basis, people just make up complete crap. And it's obvious to see that it's crap from first glance to make advertising dollars. But again, what they're doing, they're rolling this all in and saying that Breitbart Infowars is all part of this fake news output. When in fact, yes, we publish hundreds of stories a day. Occasionally, we're going to get something wrong. But we don't willingly try to put out fake news, which is what fake news websites do. They know it's fake news when they publish it. They publish it for that reason, because it's shocking, because it's completely made up. There's a difference between fake news and having a different opinion, okay? There's a difference between not being CNN, for example, which has interviews with its own cameramen pretending that they're anti-Trump protesters, okay? That's rigged media. The rigged media was basically expo exposed as being fake news in the WikiLeaks revelations. But this poll is in the article. A new YouGov poll finds that 7 in 10... 69% of voters do not believe the news media are honest and truthful. The poll also finds that 8 in 10 of voters believe the corporate news coverage of the presidential campaign was biased, with a nearly 3 to 1 majority believing the media were for Clinton versus the ones that were for Trump. So again, more polls showing that the bias rigged mainstream media is not trusted by the American people. Surprise, surprise! given that they're coming out with this narrative now that it's Trump supporters that are engaging in hateful, violent hate crimes when the reality is the complete opposite. And in fact, I've got a video coming out on YouTube in about 15 minutes from now. It's called Morons React to Trump Winning, and it's basically six minutes wall-to-wall, -wall, hateful, violent tweets, Facebook posts by leftists threatening to kill people who support Trump, threatening to kill Trump himself. Again, engaging in absolute total idiocy. Many, of, much of it hateful. Much of it could be described as a hate crime if that those behaviours, those actions are actually carried out. So that video is coming out soon on YouTube. It will be up on Infowars.com. Another article up on Infowars.com today. Report Hillary became physically violent after she realised she lost the election. Now we knew she was violent. We knew she engaged in rageful temper tantrums for years and years. Every single Secret Service member who's gone on the record about this says the same thing, that people would literally duck into side doors when she was walking down a corridor because she would just have a massive hissy fit anytime she saw anyone. Her own campaign last year in October said that she was going to have a meltdown because she was having so many rages. And again, we're seeing more of these I like this term, Hillary in the bunker stories. There was one about how she was completely drunk on election night. Now, this one, according to Todd Kincannon, who spoke to a CNN reporter, who told him that Hillary became physically violent towards Robbie Mook and John Podesta, her campaign staffers around midnight, had to be briefly restrained. So again, another report about Hillary Clinton having a rage fit, that she was drunk on election night, and of course that could have been why she didn't appear to give the concession speech that night. We only saw her the next day. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of The Alex Jones Show. InfoWars Nightly News is coming up tonight. Alex will be back 11 to 2 tomorrow. Breaking news at InfoWars.com. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese-style net censorship was coming to the web, because it's already here.
It's being announced. The way you keep the internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. InfoWars Live, available right now. We're looking for a crew to man it. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy? Or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by and let the internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action. <laughs> 